What happens if you fall into a black hole? Do you turn to ash? Do you pop out in a parallel reality? Do black holes transport you to the past? Or do you just keep falling? Ever since black holes have caught the popular imagination, creators have made millions and millions of dollars by providing some very interesting fictional answers to these questions in media and literature. And yet, this is a question that many scientific geniuses have pondered over as well. Ever since the concept of black holes as regions of space from which nothing can escape was accepted in 1958. Whether this question once occurred to you in the shower or you are genuinely interested in finding a brief scientific answer to this fascinating question, stick around till the end. Before we begin, we would like you to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest updates from our future videos. Now, let's begin! Before we dive in headlong, we should first try to understand the concept of black holes. To put it briefly, black holes are massive pits of gravity that can bend space-time due to their incredibly dense centers, also known as singularities. Space-time in a very basic sense is a union of time and space in a 4D continuum. When a star dies, it rapidly collapses inward. When the collapse continues, the star explodes into a supernova, a giant explosion in which the star's outer material is exposed. The star continues to collapse until it becomes a singularity, that is, something that has infinite density and zero volume. This paradox is what causes black holes to form. Due to the extreme density of the singularity, everything is pulled toward it, even space-time. So what happens when you bend space-time? For one, time will move in very differently than its foes on Earth. If you picture space-time as a flat disk of silly putty, creating a singularity is like putting a marble in the middle. The marble would dramatically bend the putty downwards and elongate any interactions with the plane towards the marble. Black holes are similar, although the distortion one would experience would be much more intense than anything silly putty can produce. Black holes are places where the laws of physics break down completely. Einstein tells us that the gravity distorts space itself, causing it to curve. As we know, black holes have virtually infinite density, which causes space-time to wrap it on itself so much that it burrows a hole straight through the fabric of reality. The gravitational field becomes so strong that not even light can escape, hence black holes. The edge of the black hole, or the event horizon as it's called, is a place where time begins to slow drastically. The further down a black hole you go, the most distorted time becomes. The multiverse theory of the universe even suggests that if one manages to survive the initial entry into a black hole, images of the past and the future would merge into one on the inside. This might be the premise of your favorite science fiction movies, but there is no way to test it. What is more widely accepted is that due to a black hole's distortion of the time-space continuum, time at a singularity will pass far slower than it does on Earth? Now, back to the question. You might expect to get torn into pieces or get crushed due to the extreme gravitational pull. In this case, however, the fact might be much, much stranger than fiction. The moment you enter a black hole, reality would be split in two. In one reality, you will be immediately incinerated. In the other one, you will continue to plunge on into the depths of the black hole, totally unharmed. The event of the horizon of the black hole is the point at which the gravitational force is just about equal to the light efforts to escape the black hole. Go closer than this, and you won't be able to escape. As we said earlier, time and space become meaningless as you go deeper into a black hole and reach the singularity. What happens when you reach there? Another universe? Oblivion? The past? It's anybody's guess. But what happens at the threshold? Let's ask your partner in space travel. Let's call him Gareth. Gareth will watch in horror as you take the plunge into the black hole while he watches safe on the outside. From Gareth's perspective, things are about to get very strange. As you quickly move towards the event horizon, Gareth will watch you contort and stretch, as if he is viewing you through a giant magnifying glass. 
As you move closer to the horizon, you will seem like you are moving in slow motion. When you get to the horizon, Garrett sees you freeze, as if someone has hit a pause button. You sit there, motionless, stretching across the horizon as the rising heat begins to engulf you. Gareth will see you getting slowly obliterated from the expansion of space, the suspension of time, and the hawking radiation fires. Before you step into the darkness of the black hole, you have turned to ashes. But before we plan your funeral, let's forget about Gareth and take a look at this extraordinary event with your eyes. Now, even a stranger thing happens nothing. You pass through the most terrifying location in nature without as much as bump, and there is no stretching, time freeze, or incineration. That's because when you are in free fall, so you don't feel any force of gravity, something Einstein called his happiest thought. After all, the horizon of the event is not like a brick wall floating in space. It's a product of perspective. A viewer from outside a black hole can't see through it, but that's not your problem. As far as you are concerned, there is no horizon. Of course, if the black hole were small, you would have a problem. Gravity can be far more powerful on your feet than on your head, which would stretch you out like a piece of spaghetti. But you are lucky because this black hole is massive, millions of times bigger than our sun, so the spaghettification forces will be weak enough to be ignored. In fact, in a black hole large enough, you can live your whole life normally before you can reach the singularity. Just how normal can it be? You may wonder. Given that you are being sucked into a rapture into the fabric of time-space, plunging against your will, and you cannot turn back the other way. But when you think about it, we all know that feeling. Not from our experience with space, but from time. Time only moves forward, it never goes in reverse. And it pulls us along whether we want it or not, and we cannot go back. This is not just a metaphor. Black holes bend space and time so much that the inside black hole, space and time, change roles. In a sense, it is time that pulls you towards the singularity. You can't turn around and escape the black hole just like you can't turn back to the past. At this point, you might want to stop and ask yourself a puzzling question. What the hell is wrong with Gareth? If you are chilling inside the black hole, surrounded by nothing more dangerous than space, so why does he insist that you have been burned into a crisp? Is he hallucinating? In fact, Gareth is being completely reasonable. From where he is standing, you have really been reduced to ash. It is not a hallucination. He may even collect your ashes and send them to your loved ones. The laws of nature require that you stay out of the black hole as seen from Garrett's point of view. That's because quantum physics demands that information cannot be lost. All the details of your existence should remain outside the horizon, or they will violate Anne's laws of physics. On the other hand, the laws of physics also require you to travel across the horizon without encountering hot particles or anything dangerous. Otherwise, you will be violating Einstein's most happy thought, as well as his theory of general relativity. So the laws of physics require that both of you be outside a black hole as a heap of ash and inside a black hole and be healthy. Finally, there is a third law of physics that states that information cannot be cloned. You would be in two places, but there may be only one copy for you. It seems like we have arrived at a paradox. However, the paradox can be explained quite simply. No one has ever seen your clone. Garrett sees only one copy of yours. You see only one copy of yourself. You and Gareth will never compare notes, and no one watching can see inside and outside the black hole at the same time. Therefore, no laws of physics are being violated. The truth depends on who you ask. So are you really dead or really alive? The big secret that black holes reveal is that there is no fixed reality. The truth depends on who you ask. The truth is for Gareth, and there is the truth for you. And that's that. So that was the video guys, we hope you liked it. If so, please leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. We will see you in our next video. Take care, ciao!